Hey you guys, welcome to this edition of Blaine County Survivor Man. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Guys, today on Blaine County Survivor Man, I'm going to teach you guys how to file a handsaw. Now I know that handsaws, that one sings pretty good. Handsaws don't get used very much anymore. Even I don't use them because, you know, electric saws are just a whole lot faster. But for my friends out there who homestead, who know, <clears throat> do a lot of their stuff off the grid, they still use hand saws. And they need to know, guys, how to sharpen these things so, of course, that you don't have to take them somewhere and get somebody to charge you $10 or $12 or 15 bucks to sharpen one for you. And there's no doubt about it, they get dull just by use. And uh, the set will go out of them and everything. So I'm going to show you in a minute with close-up photos and video of how to use a saw set. That's what that is right there. And why you use the saw set. So uh, I'll catch you back in just a few seconds. Okay you guys, first of all you'll see that I've got this in a hand saw vise. Now, I bought this old hand saw vise off my uncle about 40 years ago. A lot of the stuff I'm, I'm always using 40 years ago. And by the way when I was in the 82nd Airborne Division in Fort Bragg, North Carolina there 80 years or excuse me, 40 years ago, I was actually the company, what they called the company self-help man. And the company self-help man was actually the company carpenter. So I, they sent me to different schools to learn how to do stuff. And uh, one of the things that I learned how to do was sharpen a handsaw. And one of the things I like about this vise right here is this vise will swivel. I can put it on different angles if I want to. See, I can lay it over like that. And really, I haven't seen another one like it anywhere. But anyway, I'm going to show you how the saw set works. First of all, when you, uh, you get an old hand saw, what you want to know is what, uh, how many teeth per inch it is. And that's what makes it either a rip cut, cross cut, or a fine cut saw. And uh, as I was measuring this one a few minutes ago, I found out that this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that makes it an eight point saw. And the, the reason I want to know that is, is because this tool right here can be turned around to whatever setting of your teeth is, uh, the teeth in your saw is. And uh, this one just happens to already be set on eight for the, an eight point saw. But uh, the reason that we use a set to set the saw is because if you don't set the teeth, offset each tooth all the way down the saw, one left and one right, the saw will just bind up in the cut. So that's what you do when you set your saw. You're making a big enough space or a kerf in the, in the uh, saw cut when it goes through the piece of wood, the saw won't pinch. So to set that thing, to set them teeth, I'll go every other one this direction and I'll just press that thing in, press it in, and press it in. This is a really an old saw that I picked up at a junk sale, so the teeth are really worn, but I think it'll be self-explanatory in this video. But anyway, that's how you do it. And of course I'll go back to this side and I'll get those opposite teeth. Just like that, the ones that are pointing north now, I'll get those. That's what that tool does, and that keeps that saw from binding up. By the way, if a saw is sharpened exactly right and set right, when you get done with it, you should be able to lay, you should be able to lay a needle. Now this won't set up on there because it's too big, but you should be able to lay a needle right up on the edge of that saw or right up on those saw teeth and it should sit right there. So now I'll get my file out and do another close up and let you watch me file this saw and explain how you file it. Okay you guys, what you use to file hand saws with is a three corner file. A little old cheap file, they don't cost very much. It'll say, these little boogers will save you a lot of money in hand saw uh, repairs. So uh, incidentally I wanted to tell you, I didn't discuss this in the uh, the video for the uh, chainsaw, but if your saw is cut and crooked in a cut 
and you know you're just ripping and sawing away and it's cutting crooked it's because one side of the the saw is sharper than the other side so it's following that sharp cut and causing it to turn or bend so when you when you see that happening you know you need to file your saw whether it's a chainsaw or a hand saw but anyway I've already uh, set the teeth on the saw now and what we're going to do is the, the way that you find out the angle for these old teeth out here that's worn is go back to the back of your saw and you should be able to have some brand new teeth back there that ain't been uh, ripped off or you know uh, used and that's how you really find the angle of the, uh, of the, of the teeth to, to know which way to hold it. But anyway, you find that angle, and then you just go every other tooth, hold your file on a 90 degree with your teeth, and what's happening is it's sharpening that tooth, the one right now that's pointing south, plus it's cutting the front of this tooth that's pointing north. So you go every other tooth, and do the same thing you do with a chainsaw, Count your strokes so that you don't cut teeth. The notch in there deeper than the other ones. And this guy's is simple to learn how to do. And uh, when I could really see good without bifocals on, I could hand I could file one of these saws in about 20 minutes because I used to do it where I worked for a construction company because nobody else knew how to do it. And here I was. A 20 year old guy that just got out of the service and uh, they called me the file doctor. So that's simple guys, that's just exactly how you do it. And uh, another thing I want to tell you is this, if you don't have one of these devices like I've got this saw set up in, you can put it between two boards and just a regular old vise and, and just pinch it down. You don't want it sticking way up because it's floppy, it'll be floppy. But uh, I'll finish filing this saw, then I'll, then I'll shoot a video of me sawing something with it just to see how good I done. Simple and easy. And there we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Two, three, four. All you homesteading people out there, all you people that live off the grid, learn how to do this. This is very easy. That way, when something happens and you hit something with your saw, you can fix it. Okay, guys, I've done finished sharpening this saw, and I just wanted to show you guys. I took a nail and laid it right up on those teeth. And that, that means that it's set right. See? You can see how shiny the teeth are now. That thing was really dull. But anyway, that's what, that's what you can do to test it to see whether or not you got it set right. A small nail or a needle either one should lay right up on those teeth right there. Now I'll get the thing down and we'll cut a board with it and see if it'll really cut. Okay, all you homesteaders. Let's see if this thing will cut. You saw all do the work. Don't get in a hurry. That way you won't have any accidents and cut yourself. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That's how to sharpen a handsaw. And that's another tip from your Bland County Survivor Man. Have a nice day.